Oh. Well. But they almost got it. Hi guys! Because uh, TJ's apparently not cleaned up his mess, I'm just gonna forward if that's all right with you. I uh, last weekend was my last calm weekend. Well, for a while, you see, I've been looking at the calendar and the circus freaks, folks who put this thing together. We uh, we got a really busy couple of weeks coming up. We're going to be at Art Love Magic for Underground. Yeah. Come out there. We're doing an interactive thing. It's going to be very cool. I'm sorry. What'd you say? You had a question? You, oh, you're going to be there too? Awesome. Okay. That's all I need. Help us out. Pigs and chicken. Um, but we've got that. We've got some shows going on. We're, we're going to start populating our, ca our calendar very soon. And this was, this past weekend was my last free weekend to get all this stuff done. Your, your costume maintenance and things like that. Uh, Marie Martin from the Circus Freaks calls it her dry clowning. <laughs> but, you know, she does that. But, I, you know, I, I figured I had to sew the buttons back on, wash the pants, polish the shoes, all of that good stuff. I figured I had to get this stuff done. And um, in the midst of it, I, I started thinking about the fact that, you know, Batman has it way easier than me. <laughs> One load of darks! He's done. I gotta separate my socks. Batman's over there going, run out of darks. Maybe a little brasso for the belt buckle. He's out of trouble. And I, I, I what? And the gravelly voice is hard. It's true. So I, I ended up doing all this wrong. I finally got sick of it. And I went out and I broke a cardinal rule of clowning. Uh -oh. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, no. I, I broke one of like the World Clown Organization actually has, and there, first of all, there is a World Clown Organization, which is, I, it was news. And second of all, they have rules and I broke them. Also news. Third of all, they come and they call and they knock on your door when you break them. Do they give you a pie in the You'd think, but no such luck. No, just mocking. Lots and lots of mocking. Fortunately, you guys prepared me. So that was good. Yeah, that one didn't work so well. Okay. <laughs> Take your pill. Okay. So I walk into a Tex-Mex restaurant wearing sweats, a t-shirt, and this hat. Because the rule is you're either in costume, in character, and you're on, or you're not. I was sort of in the middle, as I often am. And I walked in the door thinking, I'll get inside. And the reason I was is it was really cold out. I got caught in that cold snap, and I was freezing, and I thought, improperly dressed clown, dead clown. Equal humor value, but one's much more practical. And besides, I had laundry I had to move to the dryer before Batman took over the dryer. <laughs> one load of darts. Okay. I should just let that one go. Should I really should. <laughs> ah, whatevs. Anyhow, so I walk in the door, in, in the meat, the meatus of the story, if you will. I walk in the door, and this little hand pops up and points at my hat. I look, the crowd sort of parts, and I look, and there's this little kid going, and then he drops down and he looks at my face and he has this sort of, it's you! And I look at the kid and I realize, I know him! But not really, because he was one of these kids at one of the festivals we did last spring. But I recognized him and we were pointing at each other in the middle of a restaurant blocking traffic, <laughs> having a finger pointing battle to the death! <laughs> Fortunately, saner minds prevailed and both of our respective adults pried us apart. <laughs> But I had this amazing moment. It was the first time I had ever been recognized out of character in my life. And I knew it wasn't because of Facebook or anything else, because this kid's 10. Hot Wheels, Batman, me. He knew who the circus freaks were. So two things I gotta do. One, to your parents. Thank you so much for bringing your kid out in the world into circus events and festivals where he gets to meet weirdos like us and not calling the police. And two, son, I need you to do me one favor. 
I need you to shut off the internet now because I know you're watching this video. <laughs> And I need you to realize that this is grown-up time and we're gonna do things that will make your therapist rich. <laughs> and to the rest of you, I just wanna welcome you and let you know that these hats, they have power. Welcome to the open stage.